All right, I wanted to, I'm double dipping this week. This is my second car rant. Deuces. All right, so, you know, I'm here. We're running this program called Favor Greenville. People start saying crazy stuff out in the world and making claims that Favor Greenville believes this or Favor Greenville believes that. So here's, here's what Favor Greenville believes. Um, because unlike other programs, where maybe you know no one person can speak for it. I can speak for Favor Greenville's philosophy. And it's the simplest thing in the world. We believe that you're in recovery if you say you're in recovery and you don't have to qualify yourself with us. We believe that we wanna help you no matter where you are in that process of recovery because we believe recovery is a process, not an event. So if you are a person with 40 years of recovery and you're struggling with something and you need somebody to talk to, we want to help you with that. If you're a person who hasn't even figured out how to do recovery, you haven't even figured out if you want to do recovery, maybe you're still using, but you need somebody to talk out loud to, that's us. We want to help you just as well. If you're a person on medication-assisted treatment, we want you to come see us. If you're a person who hates medication-assisted treatment, we want you to come see us. You can see, here's the deal with us. We embody keep coming back. And we will go out of our way to welcome you. We will tell you you are wonderful. We will, there is no shaming, there is no guilt. And now I'm not, when I say that, I am not saying other programs do that. I'm saying I go, we go out of our way to try to make sure that that's not there. And so it doesn't mean that we want to see people continue to use and we want to see people uh, do this thing that some some people are calling half abstinence or whatever that has nothing to do with it we want to connect with you and we're not going to judge we're not going to throw down on you we're not going to tell you how you're just a you're in denial you're a liar a cheater and a thief you'll always be a liar cheater and a thief because you know what Every once in a while that'll click in for somebody and that'll work. But this idea that we gotta be pounding on people in addiction, we gotta be badasses and just pound on them and get in their face and you know, break them down and break through denial, it's been shown to be absolutely 100% ineffective. And, and it's especially bad when professional people do it. When self-help groups do it, whatever. You know, it's just, that's voluntary, that's people trying to help the best they can, but when professionals take that hard line approach with clients that they're working with, I would argue it's malpractice. And so um, you're not gonna get that at Favor Greenville. You're not gonna get that. We, we love you. If you're, you know, and if you're a family member dealing with this, we love you and we want you to come. And you know what? We're gonna go out of our way to make sure you feel welcome. We want you to come in and after you're done with one of our groups, feel better about yourself. So regardless of what you might hear out there and what you hear about Favor Greenville and they're doing freaky deaky things over there at Favor Greenville, here's the freaky deaky thing that we're doing. We're not gonna put you down in any kind of way. We're not gonna get in your face. We're not gonna tell you that you can't do recovery because you didn't do it a certain way. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, hey, how can we help? Can you think of any other ways that may work for your recovery? Have you ever thought of this? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever tried this meeting over there? Have you ever tried that meeting over here? You do not have to punish an addict into recovery. As a matter of fact, in the vast majority of cases, it will produce the actually absolute opposite effect. Now, that's my take on the world. Remember, I'm a very sensitive people pleaser. So I'm sure if you're watching this and you think, you know, I'm crazy, and I'm tearing at the very fabric of society and it's gonna be raping and pillaging in the streets if we're not mean to drug addicts. Be gentle when you comment on my idiocracy because it'll hurt. It'll hurt. Deuces. I have no idea why I'm saying that.